Smoke and haze from the fire plagued our area on and off for weeks. Now there's new research saying the recent uptick in wildfires is actually undoing years of air quality improvement in the U.S. Tonight, Fox 13's Matthew Smith is talking to the experts about prolonged impacts of wildfire smoke. So the question is, how safe is it to breathe right now, and what are they telling you? Uh, it, it's certainly dangerous to breathe compared to fresh air, right? Uh, this is considered moderate, and what you really worry about is what we call particulate pollution. All air has it, but the type of stuff that we're worried about gets lodged in your lungs, and it can actually cause damage. It can make it in your bloodstream. Now, on extreme days, we warn you about it. There's pretty much alarm bells going off, but it's really hard to predict what our viewers breathe in throughout an entire year. And while we're talking about moderate days right now, well, those moderate days can add up. We come out here frequently for our grandchildren. Here in Kenmore, the soccer ball is out and so is the haze. We've been out here a number of years with bad smoke. Patrick Gaffney and his wife Perrin are taking in tonight's practice. And it's hard not to notice what's all around them. I'd rather have clear skies. Over at Kenmore Middle School, outdoor activities had to be canceled today. That's due to this air quality. It's worsening by the day as the Bolt Creek fire Watch the traffic. continues to burn. Now, mapping of our whole state shows that some areas are in that red unhealthy zone. But here near Puget Sound, it's mostly moderate. And frankly, some people, thanks to this never ending supply of smoke from nearby fires, have seen moderate become their new norm. Maybe if you're if you're a lot closer to, you know, happen to be closer to a fire and you're getting weeks and weeks and weeks of it, um, then definitely you'd want to be uh, considering having some filtration uh, for a lot of that and try and keep your overall year, your exposure down low. What Phil Swartz and Druber is talking about are the health risks. Often we sound the alarm on these super unhealthy days when the sky turns orange and you know what you're breathing is bad. But the reality is some of us have now been breathing in moderate air for a while, and that's when a new standard may matter. How much of this junk you breathe in over the course of an entire year. It's going to have the same health risks and health concerns that we have for the short term standard. It's just little doses of it every single day for a whole year can add up. Wildfire smoke is a growing problem, too. A new study out this month tracked wildfire smoke from the West. The findings? that smoke from our area is undoing decades of progress made due to the Clean Air Act. Across the U.S., there's been a 27-fold increase over the past decade in people experiencing an extreme smoke day. You have to monitor, you know, how many hours you're going to be outside. James Lorkowski lives in Monroe, but catching up with him in Skykomish overlooking the Bolt Creek fire, he tells me we the smoke's affecting him regularly. And there's mornings you go out there and you really can't work. Sadly, many still are working in it and without a real understanding of the impact. Young people, old people, those with pre-existing conditions, all of them should be keeping a close eye on our air quality. But with prolonged exposure, many need to look at more than just extreme days. I know it's not good for you. And, you know, that they're learning more about that. Now, I mentioned that research that shows more people are experiencing extreme smoke. This is a rundown of the 2020s and how smoke, smoke was actually spreading. And the real concern is that it shows that more people are being exposed to more days of smoke and high level of particulate matter. I'm breaking it all down and linking back to the research on Fox13Seattle.com. Hannah, David.